Next name that we'd like to look at is Emmanuel. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. We're talking about the names of God. Once again, I have to remind you, you are the temple of God. And we need to have the name and the presence of God within our temple all the time. When you're going through something, you need to know the, the God that you serve. And once again, what does a name speak of? For instance, again, my name is Keith. People know me as Keith, but my, my daughter calls me Daddy Keith, okay? because I'm daddy to her, but I'm still Keith. My wife uh, obviously has a name for me, uh, sweetheart, um, but I'm still Keith. I'm Pastor Keith. It speaks of my, uh, of my character, my position, and so forth, and it's the same thing with God. So all of these names that we've been going over this week speak of his character, speak of his position, speak of his power, speak of his dominion, speak of his love towards man, and so forth. So today, again, let's start with Emmanuel. I-M-M-A-N-U-E-L. It means God with us. It also means I am. The application is Jesus is God in our midst. In him, all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form. I want to repeat that one more time. Jesus is God in our midst. In him, all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form. If you look at Isaiah chapter 8, verse 8 through 10, it says, He will pass through Judah, he will overflow and pass over... Uh, let me start again. He will pass through Judah, he will overflow and pass over, he will reach up to the neck, and the stretching out of his wings will fill the breath of your land, O Emmanuel. Um, let's look at Isaiah chapter 7. In verse 14, therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Once again, we're speaking of the fact that Jesus is God in bodily form. Matthew chapter 1, verse 23, it says, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Once again, this is so important for us to understand God is with us. You know, uh, most other religions that worship other gods, that are false gods, they don't even, they don't even dwell among the people. But here we have a God that became man, became just like us, took on humanity like we have, and came to earth so that we could physically see and understand, and, and he could show us how to live this life that pleases him. This name indicates that Jesus is more than man. He is also God. So he's 100% man. He's 100% God. It speaks of his deity. Isaiah said that the child uh, born to the virgin would be called Emmanuel. He is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his nature. In Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3, it says, Who being in the brightness of his glory and the expressed image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by, him, uh, when he had by himself purged our sin and sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. That's speaking of Jesus Christ. Once again, he's the brightness of of God's glory. He's the expressed image of his person. If you want to know who God is and what God, what God is all about, we look at Jesus Christ because he became man in the flesh so we could see God and how he operates. Amen. And by the way, the perfect image of God is Jesus hanging on the tree displaying his love for his people. Amen and amen. Giving of himself and then he tells us to do the same thing. The next name is Jehovah. Everybody knows this Jehovah. Now the funny part of it is, is the actual spelling is Y-H-W-H. -H. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. It means I am. It's the one who is. The self-existent one. The application is that God never changes. His promises never fail. When we are faithless, he is faithful. We need to obey him. Amen. You can find this, Jehovah, in Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. Exodus chapter 6, verse 2 through 4. Exodus chapter 34, verse 5 through 7. And Psalm chapter 102. The whole psalm, but we'll just read part of it. It's 
uh, hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me in the day that I call. Answer me speedily, for my days are consumed like smoke. My bones are burned like a hearth. My heart is stricken and withered like the grass. Let me jump down. We'll go all the way down here to... Uh, um, well, you can read this, this whole psalm yourself. But again, once again, it's speaking of Jehovah. This is the God. We can call on him. He is the I am. He is the one who is. He is the self-sufficient one. We can call on him. Why? Because he's our Lord and our Savior. Amen. So with that, we're going to pick it up again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.